Uh oh. Good 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 night, my ex nerds. <laughs> ex convicts. Xbox Universe. <laughs> Xbox Nation. Xbox Squad. Xbox Geeks. Xbox Freaks. What's up with it? <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. So word on the street is that uh, Game Pass is growing, huh? All right. I told you Game Pass was a problem. 30, 30 million subscribers? Wow. That is impressive for for, 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 for for a service. That is impressive, man. But like Phil Spencer say, sales ain't the end all be all to video games. <laughs> I'm saying so. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? The best console, the, the best console is the one you enjoy playing. <laughs> well, those 30 million subscribers uh can agree to that statement. <laughs> 30 million. Wow. Game Pass is growing, man. 30 million subscribers. Impressive. Very impressive. Keep keep the keep the ball moving, Microsoft. <clears throat> yeah, Microsoft don't talk about no sales, man. We talk infrastructure and network around here and features and services. That's what's up. We let they let that beat. They let that do the talking for them. Sales numbers. They ain't gonna take no sales and then rub it in people's face. No, that's disrespectful. On Microsoft like. <laughs> anyway, let me let me let me read this article. Article to y'all. Says here it's on Gamers Rant here. Says here Xbox Game Pass subscribers at 30 million. Says Take Two CEO. This. You just, Really? The, the, the same Take Two Take Two who was complaining a month ago about Game Pass? Really? Anyway, Take Two CEO Strauss Zelnick casually and perhaps mistakenly mentioned Xbox Game Pass has 30 million subscribers. Talking with Phil Spencer. <laughs> He's like, the success of Microsoft Xbox Game Pass subscription service has been undeniable. Facts. Users are able to subscribe to Xbox Game Pass for an affordable price and gain access to a library of games that includes Xbox, Xbox platform exclusives and the day of their launch. Microsoft has made it a core pillar of its Xbox brand, acquiring studios so that their constant stream of fresh content available for subscribers. And if Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick is to be believed it's working, Xbox Game Pass has potentially crossed 30 million subscribers. Excellent! <laughs> Zelnick was discussing subscription service during an episode of The Grill podcast with Xbox boss Phil Spencer. Zelnick has, was trying to explain Take-Two's decision not to support a subscription service like Game Pass. He took a moment to compliment Spencer work on Xbox Game Pass current subscription numbers. You've got around 30 million subs. Phil something like that is Zelman. Comments to Spencer give Spencer the opportunity to glow about Game Pass success. See? See Phil Spencer is like a ninja. We don't talk we don't talk sales no sales numbers around here. You know what I'm saying? That's that. That's beneath Microsoft. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Spencer to credit doesn't confirm the number. He says the says that the last public call shared number for Xbox Game Pass subscriber count is 18 million. Zelnick followed Spencer's correction with a smirk, saying, "For some reason, I thought it was 30. It's more than 18." Even after the podcast host Sharon uh, Wax, Waxman asked, "But." But it's really 30. Spencer simply smiled and allowed Zelnick to continue his train of thought. <laughs> See, ninja, ninjas don't talk, man. We don't talk. We handle business, man. What's wrong with y'all? Anyway, it's ultimately isn't clear whether or not Zelnick's statement that Xbox Game Pass is approaching or has passed 30 million subscribers is accurate or not. 
He obviously said the number for a reason, and as a CEO, he wouldn't say something that is completely made up. <laughs> he would have been exaggerating the number to make his friend look good, of course. It might have been an ex executive level joke. It could also be accurate. See, it's, it's a Game Pass thing, man. I told you Game Pass is like Pac-Man, remember? Anyway, the last time that Xbox report its Xbox Game Pass subscriber total was in January 2021. At the end of the, the month, as Spencer said, Microsoft had confirmed that subscribers had crossed 18, mil, 18 million total. It doesn't seem unlike, unlike, if not possible, for Xbox Game Pass to climb 12 million over nine months. But Xbox did have an exceptional E3 2021 showcase. Anticipation for Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon 5 is high. And Bethesda acquisition has introduced a variety of exciting games to, to Xbox Game Pass catalog. <laughs> if Microsoft truly has nearly 30 million Xbox Game Pass subscribers, it's likely, it's likely that it would it would love to share that information, though it did be amazing for Microsoft to have crossed both 20 million and 25 million without saying something earlier regardless, except update numbers for Xbox Game Pass in time. And that's the end of the article. And I will leave a link in the description box with this article. See, Game Pass is like Pac-Man. It eats up everything in sight. <laughs> and see, Phil Spencer don't talk. Phil Spencer is a ninja. Phil Spencer is a ninja. <laughs> he don't talk. We don't we don't talk sales. No, we don't talk numbers around here. We talk infrastructure. We talk network. We talk features, and we talk services. That's what we talk. We don't talk money. We don't talk subscribers, and we don't talk sales. <laughs> yeah, Phil Spencer is a ninja, man. We don't. We, 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 we don't. We don't. We don't talk subscribers, sales. Come on, man. That's beginner stuff. Microsoft is about the infrastructure, the network, the features, the services. They let that do the talking for them. <laughs> anyway, um, Game Pass is, is is no joke, man. Game Pass is no joke. And um, my, from the time they, from the time when Xbox One had made that huge, made that made a mistake, a mistake, and the entire internet tried to kill the Xbox One, saying Xbox One is dead and all that. There was three things that the Xbox fans, from the original to the 360, up to the beginning of Xbox One, didn't see coming. They didn't see Phil Spencer coming, that's number one. <laughs> they didn't see the Zen ZeniMax Bethesda deal coming, that's number two. And number three, they didn't see Game Pass. And from the time when, when they got those three things, Microsoft has been rolling nonstop, okay? And 30 million subscribers, I wouldn't even doubt it. It's probably higher than that. So, um, <clears throat> get, uh, from the time they created Game Pass and make those moves, man, Microsoft hasn't looked back. And this Game Pass thing, see, what what they, what they said, uh, we're providing a service, you know, instead of focusing on sales and all that, we're going to provide a service to the gaming world. And that's what they did, okay? With the Game Pass, with, with, with the ZeniMax Bethesda, it took them three years, talking secretly like how ninjas do it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, and, and then they revealed it, and um, they uh, they they've been making moves ever since. You know, they've been about infrastructure, they've been about network, they've been about services and features. That's all they care about. They're not worried about the the sales, the sales number, the subscribers, and all that. They let what they're doing, they let Microsoft let what they're doing do all the talking for them. So, um, Game Pass is just. An, an amazing service, I ain't, can't, it's an amazing service, you know, and they keep Game Pass fresh and up to date, and every time a game comes out, it goes straight to Game Pass, you can play it right then and there, so yeah, um, Game Pass is working, working miracles and wonders and opportunities and you name it for, 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 for Xbox, man, and the Xbox fan base haven't looked back since, 
You know? Xbox fans ain't even, they really don't even talk. <laughs> they really ain't saying nothing. Xbox Xbox fans really don't even say much. They just sitting there playing games right now. You know? Microsoft let what they're doing do the talking for them. And Game Pass is speaking volume, man. Huge volumes, man. <laughs> and um, they're, they're ahead of the competition right now. You know? Like I told people, the, the entire, um, the, the entire world run on Windows and the entire gaming industry runs through Microsoft, man. And uh, this Game Pass is no joke. So, 30 million subscribers? I wouldn't even doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. It's probably higher than that, too. You know? But, you know, like Phil Spencer said, man. Sales ain't the end-all be-all to video games. And they haven't, they haven't looked back since, man. So, Xbox One fans are, in, are loving Game Pass, too. Xbox fans are loving Game Pass, you know, and um, they, they just haven't, Xbox One fans right now are, are getting spoiled, <laughs> are getting spoiled, and they're having a blast right now, you know, they're having a blast on the Series X, on the Xbox One, and let's not forget the 360, so yeah, Xbox fans are doing good, man, and um, Game Pass is the real deal, you know, it's the real deal, yesterday, Yesterday I said to myself, what if Game Pass team up with Netflix? What if that happens? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, Microsoft is just making moves, you know, they just making moves, you know, so with with the way they're moving right now, <laughs> who who know who knows what's coming next, man? Who knows what's coming next? But what what Microsoft is really doing, um, it's benefiting the industry. It's, ben it's benefiting the entire gaming industry. You know, it's it, it's helping the gaming industry grow, and the game industry is moving. You know, the game industry is moving. So man, you got you, you got to tip your hats off to them for what they're doing. You know, you can't hate them. You know, because they're just like <laughs> making moves. You know, so yeah. Um, kudos to Microsoft and keep up the good work, Phil Spencer. <laughs> keep it moving. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, but thirty million? Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more than thirty. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.